now with more. Good morning, Annie Rose. Hey, Eric. Good morning to you. Well, at this hour, Hurricane Barrel has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but it is still battering Houston, making landfall in the middle of the night as a Category 1 hurricane, bringing with it heavy rain and tornado threats that are now being issued in surrounding states, impacting millions. Tropical storm barrels powerful winds pushing the Gulf of Mexico onshore in Texas. Feet of storm surge already reported on the Gulf Coast and further inland, at least one person in the Houston area has been killed in the storm. New this hour, tornado watches are now being issued for parts of Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas saw until tonight, affecting more than 3.5 million people. You know, I lost my father to Hurricane Harvey in 2017. 2005, Hurricane Rita took my house in orange. A uh, big oak tree, bigger than you could fit across your arms, uh, fell through our house. So I'm not unaccustomed to uh, natural disasters, specifically hurricanes. So, um, like I said, it's been, um, you know, I mean, with that being said, it's been, there's been a lot of trauma. This storm now impacting services throughout Texas, and every hour, more and more thousands of Texans are without power. With the energy company now reporting over 2 million customers are affected by power outages, and more are expected to lose it uh, as the hours go on, bringing, wi bringing wind speeds this hurricane of more than 74 miles per hour, downing power lines in its path. We know we're going to have wind. We know we're going to have rain that could lead to flooding, and we know we're going to have storm surge. The next 24 hours are going to be rough for Harris County. That is the takeaway of my remarks today. What we don't know is exactly where and exactly how rough. Now, police using high water vehicles overnight in one Texas town to perform water rescues, releasing these images showing police out in those flooded streets. The outer band started dumping rain in Texas well before the storm made landfall, with three to five inches of rain falling in the past 12 hours, and that heavy rainfall just expected to keep on coming for the next several hours. Hurricane Barrel killed at least nine people as it hammered the Caribbean islands last week and later battered Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Peninsula, prompting Texas's own lieutenant governor to warn residents not to underestimate this storm. Now, the loss of life from this storm only continuing on to the U.S. The first Texas death attributed to Barrel is in the Houston area. And these are live images from Houston coming into our newsroom. You can see just how much water, just how much flooding they're facing. The man who died was trapped under debris when an oak tree fell on the roof of his home, causing the structure to collapse. The man wife and children also inside were not harmed. And as Barrel continues carving a path inland, we're learning about the thousands of flights canceled across major Texas airports this morning. Nearly 80% of flights at Houston's George Bush Airport alone, but even flights in Dallas, well away from the storm, are also being impacted. Jessica? Hey, Andy Rose, thank you for that this morning. A live look now at LAX, where the record-breaking 4th of July holiday travel wraps up today. The airport experienced its busiest travel period ever over the last 10 years.